Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now, in today's video, we are going to be going over three things that we go over each and every single day. The first one being where you guys can go ahead and find Madame Nazar's location. The second thing that we're actually going to go ahead and go over is all of the different collection sets and their current cycles. And then last but not least, we're going to go over all of the daily challenges, daily roll, and daily general challenges in as much detail as possible so that you guys can earn as much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and show you guys where you can go ahead and find Madame Nazar for today. And she is located east in Blue Water Marsh today. So this is Madame Nazar's location for today. If this is the only thing that you guys came here for today, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to hit that like button because honestly, it does help me out a lot. It shows your support to these types of videos and the channel. And honestly, if it helped you out, it could probably help out somebody else looking for this exact same information. So that would definitely be appreciated. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. But before we actually do that, I do want to talk a little bit about live streaming. I do live stream every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So definitely make sure that you guys are checking that out. Those times are listed on my website, which is GamerCorey.com. I've had a lot of people telling me that they've missed the notifications because they're subscribed with all bell notifications on. So if you guys want to make sure that you guys are knowing what times I go on, go live on each of those days, those times are accurate and they will be accurate the day that I post it. So uh, just check. Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and you're going to be good to go. I also do live stream from time to time on other days as well, so you guys hopefully will get that notification when I do go live if you subscribe to the channel. I also have memberships available on the channel if you guys want to go ahead and support me as a creator. It definitely helps me and my family, so definitely do that if you feel that I uh, I deserve that. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the collection sets and their cycles. Now, the first thing I do want to mention about these is they do change every day at 8 p.m., Eastern Standard Time as of right now. So make sure that you guys know that. So if you guys are watching this video, I don't update you guys with what they are until Madame and Desire's location changes and the daily challenges change. So just be aware of that. All right, so I like to go after the coins and the lost jewelry just because you do make the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. It takes three, three and a half hours to, to complete the coins and the lost jewelry, but you'll make $540 per hour doing this and it'll take like i said three to three and a half hours and you'll make anywhere between like 1700 and 1800 dollars which is pretty fantastic it's a great way of making money here in red dead online but you do need the field shovel and also the metal detector in order to complete these sets the coins are going to be a part of cycle number two and the lost jewelry will be a part of cycle number one for today now we also have arrowheads and family heirlooms which will require the field shovel and also the metal detector so arrowheads will be a part of cycle number five and the family heirlooms will be a part of cycle number six. Now, these next few cycles I'm going to go over are basically if you're a lower le level collector, just don't have enough money to purchase the field shovel or the metal detector. Or honestly, if you're not even a collector at all, you can actually go after these specific sets. However, you're just not going to be able to sell them until you actually become a collector. So that's going to be the American flower, wildflowers. That's going to be a part of cycle number five. The tarot cards, which are also going to be a part of cycle number five. The antique alcohol bottles, also part of cycle number five. And then the bird eggs will be a part of cycle number one for today. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to the daily challenges. Now I'm just going to go over the list real quickly because a lot of people just want to look at the list and then move on. So let's just do that real quick. We have one channel catfish caught. We have three cooked season succulent fish. We have one finish showdown in elimination series. Five non-player enemies killed from the hip. Three sockeye salmon caught, one used an emote on a local, and then five wild mint picked. And then of the roll or challenges for today, we have two moonshine bar drunken player interactions, two or four moonshine served to another player at bar. We have one moonshine sold with at least 18 bottles intact, 20 animal carcass donated within a 10 minute period, two resupply missions completed, 10 small animal carcasses donated to crypts, three arrowheads found. Five bird eggs found, three collectibles found with a shovel, one bounty hunt completed with five minutes or more remaining, three bounty targets lassoed from horseback, and then last but not least, we have one hard or legendary bounty mission completed. 
Now, in my opinion, doing the daily challenges each and every single day is the best way to earn gold here in Red Dead Online. You can earn up to 11 gold bars each and every single day from completing just the daily challenges. If you have anything that's like a showdown or any type of PvP, free room event, stranger danger missions, or even like some of the bounty hunter stuff, or all the bounty hunter stuff, you can earn additional gold on top of the, those 11 gold bars, which is honestly pretty awesome. So, but there's two requirements that are needed. Number one, you do have to have a 21 day streak of completing at least one daily challenge of the 19 that are completely available. And then to get a total of the 19, you actually need to make sure that you have all the roles currently purchased and be at least a rank 10 in each of those roles in order to unlock all 19 daily challenges. So those, those are that. Now there's always a couple daily challenges that we can go ahead and complete relatively quickly today. And I saw a few when we were listing them off. So let's just go ahead and go over these right now. So channel catfish caught, in my opinion, uh, the best place to go is right next to Lagras. Uh, we have this area right here. You can, you can find some down here, but that's, uh, it's possible, but I actually go to this one right here, right where this stranger is at Thomas, and you can find them all around here. Uh, you can actually just use the special swamp lure. If you don't have that, you can just use the re regular swamp lure just because you will attract them. Now, just keep in mind, there are long nose guards in this area as well. So if you're using the special lure or the, the swamp lure in general, you will have a chance of, uh, of catching long nose guards in this area. But just be patient. You will get your channel catfish pretty quickly. We have three uh, cooked seasoned succulent fish. Now this will go along with the sockeye salmon caught. Now sockeye salmon for the most part can be found in quite a few different locations. I'm gonna give you a couple different locations that I like to go to. I'm gonna give you three in total. The first one is actually gonna be up here by Lake Owangila. This is my least of the three favorite right in this location. If you come up right by this little waterfall at the top here, right in this location, you guys will find pretty much uh, sockeye salmon pretty much between here and there where you guys can typically find them my next go-to location is actually going to be up at windward's uh, winyard straits uh, right here and if you come up to the top part above the tracks you can actually find a whole bunch of fish including the sockeye salmon and the sockeye salmon in this area is the only thing that you can catch large with like the river like the special river lure then my favorite spot is actually along the dakota river which is actually going to be in this area right here around this bend so you have this bend right here is where you guys need to go to for today in order to get the sockeye salmon. Then at that point, you break down your sockeye salmon, go to any of the campfires throughout the world. There's one in San Denis. There's two in San Denis, one in Rhodes. There's one in Valentine. You have your camp that you can go to. You can go down to like Benedict Point area. There's a campfire down there. You can use a gang hideout camp. What Whatever you want to use for a campfire is perfectly fine. And then just go ahead and cook it by using any of the seasonings. Now, now that's the reason that I bring this one up is at the bottom here, I saw that we had wild mint picked. So that's the seasoning that you need. You need a thyme, oregano, or mint. So you can see that there's actually like three daily challenges that all very much go together today, which is outstanding. So catch a sockeye salmon, get wild mint because you can actually find wild mint right where I told you guys to go to around the Dakota River area. I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second break them down, and then go to the campfire in Valentine, and then go ahead and, and uh, you know, cook those up. But if you guys are going to be looking for mint right around the sockeye salmon location, if you come about here, you're going to find some mint right about here. You'll find actually more, a little bit more inland. You'll find some more. You'll find more right about here, and then up here a little bit further. Now, just keep in mind, anywhere between two and four mint plants will spawn per area, and I just gave you up to 20 different locations. Uh, minimum 10. So uh, it should really be, shouldn't be that hard um, to get mint. And you can honestly find mint all along the Dakota River Valley, all the way to Barrett's Crossing. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next daily challenge. We've got uh, use one emote on a local. There's plenty of locals all around. When you're in Valentine cooking, um, you know, the succulent fish, you can actually go ahead and just go to the saloon or anybody that's walking around and just do a wave or flick them off, whatever you want to do. And that's going to be just fine. So that's pretty easy. A lot of stuff right around Valentine. Now you can kind of see why I like to spend a lot of my time right around Valentine in general. We have non-player enemies killed from hip. You can make them mad at you by shooting their horse. They'll get upset and then you can get off your horse and shoot them from the hip. 
Or you can actually go to Van Horn or Thieves Landing. Van Horn is north of where um, Madame Nazar is at for today in Blue Water Marsh. And then Thieves Landing is going to be south of Tumbleweed area, southwest of Tumbleweed area. Or not, not Tumbleweed, Blackwater area. Or you can go to like any of, um, if you guys find like a gang hideout or a blue legger mission, then those won't actually affect your honor if you guys do those. And then last but not least, we have finish a showdown in elimination series. So all you have to do is come down to the quick join and then go into elimination series and then that's it. So that's all the daily general challenges actually done, gone over and covered. So let's go ahead and move on to the daily rule challenges for today. Now the daily rule challenges in my opinion are actually really easy. But uh, you don't make as much gold as quickly as you can by completing all of the regular daily challenges. So that's what I would go after. You can get up to five gold bars by completing seven daily challenges, but you only get six gold bars by completing 12 daily challenges. So there's that. So we have uh, two. This, these two are going to require somebody else to be basically be in your moonshine shack with you. You can invite them in. They don't even technically have to be a part of your posse, but if you have a friend, this is the best way to do that because all three of these actually can do that together. You have two uh, moonshine bar drunken player interactions. So basically you get drunk and then you basically slap each other around a little bit. You can serve that other player four drinks at, at the bar. If the two moonshine bar drunken player interactions don't work for you guys, go and wash your face at the barrel. That's right out, right basically going outside of the main doors in the basement. Otherwise, what you can do is leave your shack and go back in. If that still doesn't work, then Joyce join in a new session. Or you can actually go and deliver the moonshine with at least 18 bottles intact, wherever it's going to be delivered to. And you will be able to probably come back and do that drunken player interaction again. But you can serve the four moonshine to another player at the bar right in a row pretty easy. Now, the next one is going to be the trader roll. And these two definitely go together. The donate 10 small animal carcasses and 20 carcasses donated within a... 10 minute period the best way of actually getting this one complete is to go after the small animals that way you have them all before the timer even starts you can go after any of the squirrels so gray black uh red squirrels western chipmunks you can go after bats rats western to to toads bullfrogs you can go after crows or any of the small birds like orioles blue jays um wax wings songbirds whatever um if it flies and it's small make it die um otherwise if you're looking for bats and rats, go to Blue Water Marsh, right where pretty much Madame Nazar is at for today. And you can find a lot of bats and rats kind of roaming around that area um, in the nighttime. You can even find bats in the uh, right where kind of where I'm at, more by Emerald Station area in the Heartlands. And then we just have to complete two resupply missions. So you're going to have to have some time in between each of those just to let you guys know. And I knew that that was going to happen. Uh, we've got... Uh, Three arrowheads found, which arrowheads are going to be a part of cycle number five for today. And then we have uh, five bird eggs, which is going to be a part of cycle number one. And that guy is a complete, complete dipshit. So we have three collectibles found with a shovel. So going after like the coins or the arrowheads would actually get that one achieved for you guys. Um, so that works pretty amazing. For the bird eggs, I would actually go after the, the duck or the geese eggs just because you get uh, four at a time. For those uh bounty hunting missions we have to complete one with five or more minutes remaining on the clock so basically just do it as fast as you possibly can that's what i would recommend that you guys do for that one uh we have three bounty targets lassoed from horseback so just stay on your horseback and then lasso them you, i use my reinforced lasso if you're a bounty hunter you should have the reinforced lasso anyway and then last but not least we have a hard or legendary bounty mission completed just because i honestly i would go after the legendary bounty because they're more enjoyable in my honest opinion. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Uh, also, make sure that you guys are checking out my live stream every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Those times are listed on my website, which is GamerCorey.com. But I do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. If you guys deserve the rating, then make sure you guys do that. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. Definitely appreciate it. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.